Good afternoon, good people. Ali Rush again. Did you get that name? It's mine. Ali Rush again. Back to talk to you about a subject that a lot of our people have problems with. And that's alcohol abuse. Alcohol abuse. Now, let me start by answering a few few questions here. What is an alcoholic? An alcoholic is a person who has lost the ability to control the urge to indulge in alcoholic beverages. All right. Now, what is alcoholism? Alcoholism is a sickness that controls both the body and the man. Now a question for you. Did, do you know that most alcoholics abuse family and they don't remember it the next day? That's something, isn't it? I know, I know, I know. It came as a shock to you. But let's continue here talking about this subject, alcohol abuse. The only drug Yes, that's what I call it. The only drug that doesn't get the attention of the CDC or federal or state authorities. Oh, you have deaths, accidental killings, but no one talking about it as if it is a drug and harmful drug at that. Did you know that each time you get intoxicated, you lose a few of your brain cells? You don't think like you used to. You don't move like you used to. Your speech becomes slurred. Your movement is slow, deliberate, and awkward. Parts of your body are destroyed. Your liver is ravaged. Your kidneys are burned inside out. But the main thing is your mind goes, and no one, including you, knows where it went. When it comes back, it has company, a hangover. That's someone you don't want to have over. Did you know that most alcoholics abuse not only the alcohol by drinking too much of it, they abuse family too. I should know, getting a little bit personal here, my grandmother took my mom, my sisters, and myself away from a father who never brought his money home, but stopped by the club, got stone drunk, and came home to look for food that he never bought in the first place. But you would think we'd be going to a better place in going with my grandmother. you think life would be better. Oh, yes, my grandmother saved us from my father, only to give me even more abuse when she drank excessively on weekends. I said all of this to educate you on the pitfalls of alcohol. I learned early. That's why I never, ever started to drink. Thank God I hated cigarettes too. Well, I guess that's enough of that. Let me tell you what alcohol and abuse can do to and for you. Alcohol abuse. How many drinks before you are considered an alcoholic? Well, for women, it's three drinks a day. For men, four drinks a day. And what are the most serious of problems? Sufferers will often place drinking above all other obligations, including work and family. What happens if you stop drinking? Well, you break out in a cold sweat. You have a racing pulse. And you have seizures and hallucinations. What are signs of liver damage? Jaundice, fatigue, nausea, weight loss, low-grade fever, vomiting, tenderness in right upper abdomen. Is alcohol a dangerous drug? Yes. The only way not to be at risk is to not drink at all. Now, what are some of the signs of alcohol abuse, temporary blackout, 
extreme mood swings, drinking alone or secretly, feeling hungover when not drinking. Is alcohol more dangerous than drugs? Oh, yes it is. Now let's move on to four cage screening questions. Have you ever felt you should cut down on your drinking? Have people annoyed you by criticizing your drinking? Have you ever felt bad or guilty about your drinking? Have you ever had a drink first thing in the morning to steady your nerves or get over a hangover? Now here are some questions to diagnose alcohol abuse. Maybe, maybe even diagnose yourself or someone you know. Have you continued to drink though it was making you feel depressed or anxious or adding to another health problem? Has there been situations where you ended up drinking more than you intended to? Have you lost interest in other activities since you started drinking? Have you felt a craving or an urge to consume alcohol? Have you gotten in trouble with the law due to alcohol related problems? Well, if you answered any of those questions in the affirmative, then you know you have either limited or severe problems with alcohol. And it wouldn't hurt and it wouldn't be embarrassing to get a little help as soon as possible. Don't put it off because the main thing an alcoholic does is he denies that he is an alcoholic. If it's you, get help, please. Do it for yourself and do it for your family. Thank you very much for listening and God's willing, I'll see you next time. Hopefully it's